do you find anything that resonates with you? I know you from many. I think you've probably been on this broadcast as much as any other single individual since I've been on the air. Mm -hmm. Do you think, and I know you because to, to, for you are a proud member of, consider yourself and characterize yourself as a social democrat or uh, well, labels a hard or democratic or socialist. socialist. That's right. Uh, made it based on the European model, I guess, that we would find in France and in other places. Well, one concerned about redistribution of wealth. Okay. That's right. Having said that, does anything that uh, African-American conservatives say resonate with you at all? Those who want to see uh, black America do well by grabbing a piece of the American dream and making capitalism uh, work for them? Does anything there that, that you can say? Um, See, black conservatives, you. they get a lot of mileage out of a notion that all black freedom fighters have affirmed, which is the notion of black self-help, black right. self-development. Right. And uh, no one would be against black self-help. Yeah, Malcolm self X was for that, wasn't he? Sure. Malcolm X was much more of well, that uh, than he uh, was. Elijah Muhammad, right down the line. But Malcolm, specifically, because he's such a hero to so many uh, African Americans clearly was articulating something like that. I mean, you could even argue, I guess, some might that he was a forerunner of, notwithstanding yes, but, but, some of the yes, elements of it. Right, but I mean, but what I think Brother Malcolm understood, and the black conservatives do not, is that you cannot overlook the degree to which white supremacy shapes and molds the circumstances and conditions under which black self-help and black self-development can take place. And I would add male supremacy, I would add economic inequality. Right. But certainly when it comes to emphasizing black self-help, and conservatives often think they have a monopoly on such a notion, and they're wrong. Hmm. What's your criticism of liberals uh, in America and in their, um, pers their analysis of race in America? Well, I think the problem often is, is that liberals at times tend to be spineless, milk toast, uh, which is to say that they're not... And paternalistic. And paternalistic. Uh, the, the degree to which they act on their convictions is often quite uh, uh, weak, and that they, they refuse to acknowledge the degree to which America remains so deeply shaped by corporate elites and bank elites in this country. The liberals think that somehow uh, the, the distribution of wealth in place can, can provide the background conditions for inclusion of others so that the pie would get bigger, so that economic growth by means of corporate priority can remain in place. And I think liberals are at times allies at times they're, they're they're unreliable allies so I don't want to just uh, whitewash them as it were but uh, you've got to proceed quite cautiously with uh, with liberals <laughs> <laughs> boy then I'd like to hear you say that